Hello. Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you. How are you, Lama Jimba? I'm very well. Yeah, I'm, really I'm enjoying American Father's Day also. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> I, I have a question for your technician. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, when we see each other, the picture is uh, in a, uh, <clears throat> you know, in, in a different uh, version, right? So can we turn around this one? Uh, you Some, mean like left and kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Okay, never mind. I'm just wondering. Yeah, some of them they can do. Oh, okay. Right, like, uh, like if you do a FaceTime, they can change it. Anyway, okay. That's don't right. Work. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shall we mm -hmm. start now or what? Yeah, absolutely. Go okay. as long as you like. Okay. So, uh, maybe around the uh, one hour. Perfect. Oh, is this okay? Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, <clears throat> do you send the uh, Heart Sutra to everyone? Everyone should have already... Oh, already have uh, one, right? Yeah, already chanted Heart Sutra, yes. Okay, great, great. Shall we start now? <clears throat> Please. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Lama Jimba. Uh, you gave me that so wonderful opportunity to meet everybody here. Uh, and also, uh, uh, <coughs> hello to everyone. So you're, uh, <coughs> everyone mostly in California or where? I'd say mostly California, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe New Mexico also. You'd have to ask Connor. Okay, okay. Right, moderator. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Okay, <clears throat> Lama Jimba asked me to uh, <clears throat> talk about the Heart Sutra. So <clears throat> today uh, in Tibetan calendar, uh, the last day of Sagardawa, uh, which is very, we consider it very auspicious. Uh, <clears throat> uh, in the also, uh, we have a chance to discuss the Heart Sutra. So the Heart Sutra is very important, uh, one of the teaching in uh, Buddhism. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, uh, why they call Heart Sutra. So <clears throat> in English, uh, they made that shorter. Uh, in Tibetan, they call Shirup uh, <clears throat> Ningbo, the, the Heart of Wisdom Sutra. So they, in the English, just say Heart Sutra. So wisdom, talking about the wisdom. Wisdom is the, uh, <clears throat> one of the key words for the uh, Buddhism. Uh, Buddhism always emphasizes compassion and the wisdom. So <clears throat> the wisdom is the most important one. Uh, if you don't have a uh, wisdom, you don't have uh, uh, that's uh, uh, <clears throat> wisdom of uh, emptiness, then you are not enlightened yet. So uh, <clears throat> that's uh, uh, in Buddhist text. I'm actually now reading that's uh, reciting Buddhist text. Uh, now is the Paramita part. Paramita has wisdom, which is uh, uh, Paramita. Then has uh, twelve uh, volumes. I uh, I was reading in number ten now. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't see the Heart Sutra yet. I'm really looking forward to see the Heart Sutra in the Ganjur because sometimes in the Ganjur, when you see the prayers, they always change a little bit. The original one is a little bit different. So anyway, so that's why I'm looking for. That's one, but I couldn't, uh, I didn't reach there yet. So anyway, the <clears throat> 12 volumes, they're talking about the, all the wisdom. 
uh, the heart sutra just uh, uh, several pages. They uh, also talking about the uh, wisdom. So that's why that's very uh, 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 concisely uh, <clears throat> giving teaching there. So that's why very important. Now, I, I hope everyone have that's Sahar Sutra. I will uh, read that one. Um, maybe uh, our, because of the translation, so that's why maybe the, the translation is a little bit different maybe. Uh, so we'll, uh, I will, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, paragraph by paragraph to uh, try to explain it. So, <clears throat> The beginning. Thus have I once heard the blessed one was sitting in uh, <coughs> Ridger Gear on Math of uh, Vulture's Peak together with a great community of monks and a great community of uh, bodhisattvas. So <coughs> that's just one paragraph. In this paragraph, uh, I think we should uh, learn something that's uh, very beginning. Uh, I once heard, so that means like somebody uh, <clears throat> hear those uh, teachings. So that means definitely that's not uh, uh, <clears throat> composed, uh, not written by Buddha. Buddha never uh, <clears throat> write the books and uh, everything, you know, he might wrote, but uh, you know, the teachings, that's all after Buddha passed away, so all uh, disciples together organized every this teaching, uh, then Har Sutra is the one of them. Uh, then <clears throat> he uh, gave teaching in the Walter's Peak uh, in India. So <clears throat> in this uh, part, also, uh, in Tibetan tradition, we say uh, five uh, very uh, important points we have. The first one is the, uh, uh, the location where uh, Walter speak in India. India. Uh, the secondly, uh, who is the person giving teaching? So the last one, Buddha. Uh, then uh, uh, who are the uh, audience or congregation? So that's uh, um, the monks, community of monks and the community of bodhisattvas. By the way, the bodhisattva uh, also is the lay uh, <coughs> disciples or students. So that's uh, two groups. Uh, then those uh, audience, important. Then the topic, topic is the Heart Sutra. So those are five things, right? So the Heart Sutra uh, is the <coughs> uh, topic, the teacher is Buddha, and uh, the place is Walter's Peak, uh, and uh, the time. So the time is very important today. That's a very auspicious day. Uh, then the topic is Heart Sutra. So in the first paragraph, we should know those five uh, things. And the next paragraph. At that time, the blessed one uh, fully entered meditative concentration on the categories of the phenomena called the uh, perception of profound. So <clears throat> let's give you a little bit of uh, uh, background for us. Uh, actually, we say Buddhist teaching, Buddhist teaching, but uh, some of the teachings are when you read the, that's a Buddhist text, you always realize those things. Some of them as a conversation, not really a teaching directly from Buddha. So uh, <clears throat> that's Heart Sutra as well. So that's actually Buddha was uh, meditating. When Buddha started to meditate, then uh, <clears throat> Avalokiteshvara and uh, uh, Shariputta having a conversation. 
then finally it is proved by Buddha. Uh, <clears throat> the Buddha doing meditation uh, now, that meditation has lots of uh, categories. So one point, uh, <clears throat> maybe uh, two months ago or something, you know, when I read that uh, sutra, they mentioned that's all meditation, different meditations. So uh, I I was try to remember some of them. There's no way, like a pages and pages and pages. Maybe a, uh, I don't know, maybe several hundred. So that's one is particular called perception of profound. So that's uh, meditation actually uh, <clears throat> belongs to that's uh, wisdom. Uh, they see through the uh, every uh, phenomena and everything. So see the uh, truth, which is the emptiness. So Buddha was doing meditation. Uh, <clears throat> then the mountain things fine. I'm asking, so it's okay, right? The sound. Okay. <clears throat> Now, next one. At that time as well, Avalokita Shivara, uh, <clears throat> Bodhisattva, the great being, uh, behold the practice uh, itself of the profound perfection of wisdom. And uh, uh, he even saw the five aggregates as empty of here in nature. This paragraph, very important. At that time, the Avalokita Shuvara, uh, he's uh, one of the Buddhist disciple. Uh, we always say eight uh, <coughs> disciples, important disciples. So Avalokita Shuvara in Tibetan called Jenjie Sik, so he, who uh, doing that meditation as well. Then when he said the uh, meditation, then uh, he saw that the five aggregates uh, as empty of uh, inherent nature. So that's one empty of inherent nature is very, very uh, important. Um, <clears throat> that's one we should remember all the time for the Heart Sutra teaching. So, uh, inherent nature, that's true nature, everything is empty, everything is emptiness. So, we'll discuss this emptiness later. Um, here, uh, Avalokita Shuvara, Avalokita Shuvara, his title, uh, they mentioned two, you know, they emphasize two things the Bodhisattva and the, the great being. Um, because the translation translated the English, uh, that's uh, very beautiful. So you can't, uh, you know, you just uh, read it and that's uh, wonderful, that's emphasis. But when you read the Tibetan one, almost like a kind of a double, you know, they call it Changchub Semba, Semba Chimbu, like Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva, like uh, two times. So here, the translation, they don't want to do that. So that's why they said the, the Bodhisattva and the, the Great Being. So in the Tibetan, almost like the Bodhisattva, the Great Bodhisattva, like something like that. So why they repeat two times? Uh, <clears throat> that's also a very important, we should know. Um, what, <clears throat> you know, uh, when you get to which level called Bodhisattva, um, then Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva was compassion. So the first of all, uh, we have to generate the compassion. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, love, uh, we have uh, loving kindness. Uh, if somebody having uh, trouble or whatever, something, then we want to like, to go there and help and do something. That's all based on the compassion. 
but that's a compassion that's not really a compassion in the bodhisattva's level. So that's not really a, uh, that's, that's, we can say uh, as a seed of Buddha, uh, compassion, but not really a true compassion. The true compassion is uh, uh, love, but uh, uh, limited less love, unconditional love. That's called uh, <clears throat> true compassion. For instance, uh, we have a good heart, big heart. We want to help others. So that's, uh, <clears throat> we're not expecting anything. We just want to help. So that should be a compassion, right? But not really. So how? For instance, our love is somehow limited. If uh, the person who is really appreciated, who understand that, then we will continue to the, uh, <clears throat> practice the compassion. If the person reacts a little bit differently, they're not happy, or they even they're having a trouble with you, they try to sue you or something, then we're going to stop. So Bodhisattva's love is never mind. That's why we uh, in the Buddhist teaching always said that we have to love the enemies. So that means like a, not not just a slogan, you know, we like uh, love our enemy. No, that means like the other person uh, you helping, they try to hurt you. Even that kind of condition, you have to have uh, that uh, remain the uh, loving kindness. So in this case, that's called love. So that's a uh, uh, <clears throat> compassion. When we discuss compassion, that's another big subject. But today is mostly wisdom. So I don't want to go there. But anyway, why I say that, once you have a, a compassion, that's we call bodhisattva. So bodhisattva has also different levels. Um, <clears throat> uh, generally have five levels. Five levels called five paths. The path of accumulation path of uh, uh, preparation or application, then path of seeing, uh, path of uh, meditation, uh, path of, uh, uh, you know, uh, no more to learn. So those five things. So the five paths, the first path, when you get to that's the first uh, uh, reach, that's the first level, then you already become Buddha, but the, uh, Bodhisattva, but not really uh, uh, enlightened yet. So the enlightened one is path of seeing. You have to reach the third level. Path of seeing, uh, see, see what? See the uh, here in nature, which is the uh, the emptiness. When you see the emptiness, then different. Before see the emptiness, we are all in the samsara. Once you see the emptiness, then you're in the nirvana. So uh, that's Avalokiteshvara. They emphasize two. The first one, your bodhisattva. Okay, you have a compassionate question. Then the great being means like you're already in the uh, <clears throat> up to third level, have even more, but you at least you have this one. So that's why they emphasize two. Uh, <clears throat> now we can go to our next level. Thereupon, through the Buddha's inspiration, the venerable Shariputta spoke to Holy Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva, the great being, and said, any noble son who wish to uh, engage in the uh, practice of the <clears throat> profound perfect uh, perfection of wisdom should train in what way? Uh, that's uh, uh, I mentioned before the Heart Sutra. Actually, the when you check the background, so Buddha was meditating there, and uh, the Avalokiteshvara and the uh, Shariputta are gonna have a conversation. So here, uh, <clears throat> because of the Buddha's inspiration, uh, then Avalokita, uh, <clears throat> you know, the um, the Venerable Shariputta start to uh, ask a question. 
uh, then the uh, the question is uh, any noble son uh, who wish to practice the profound perfection uh, how to start how to train is asking this question then here uh, <clears throat> noble son noble that's a uh, Actually, noble than son, that's noble, that's words in the English, they translated that one. Maybe you might have a different version. Maybe they translated different words, maybe. Uh, in Tibetan, uh, Sanskrit, I don't know. You know, I'm not read. I, I can't read the Sanskrit. But some of the words I know, but, uh, you know, that's a Sanskrit, I can't. So in Tibetan, call it Rig, Rigjipu. Zhu uh, actually is a kind of a clan, like a, uh, you know, one uh, group or one family member, kind of like that. So I guess that has two meaning. One meaning is the ancient time in uh, India. They uh, <clears throat> they respect their students. They call like my students, something like that. So that's why they call Rigjipu, like uh, my son, something like that. Uh, then they uh, they translate it to noble son. Okay, um, son means like not like right. Son is a disciple or student. Then another word is uh, <clears throat> those people, you know the. <clears throat> uh, Buddhist stu uh, the students or disciples they all practice the compassion so that's why they all in the uh, uh, Mahayana tradition they all already in the uh, path of Mahayana so uh, that's the same level so that's why they said that if somebody practiced the compassion or Mahayana, then uh, should call the noble son. Somebody practice that, then how to, uh, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> practice the profound perfection. That's his, his question. Um, <clears throat> when, when he asked, when this, has been said, Holy Avalokita Shivara, the Bodhisattva, the great being, spoke to the Venerable Shariputta and said, Shariputta, any noble sons or noble daughters who wish to practice the uh, perfection of wisdom should see this way. They should see insightfully, correctly, and repeatedly, uh, <clears throat> that's even the five, get, five uh, aggregates are empty of her nature. So when you see the, uh, <clears throat> when you try to analyze and uh, understand the everything, emptiness, then you should really uh, see insightfully like uh, you have to deep understanding, you have to have a deep understanding. Then the correctly, uh, <clears throat> not wrong, right? So repeatedly, again and again. So that's all have different meanings. Uh, <clears throat> for instance, that's a repeatedly, here said repeatedly. Uh, <clears throat> repeatedly, that's also very important. Uh, why that's very important for instance when when we have uh, when we practice the compassion right when we practice the compassion our compassion uh, you know we can generate compassion sometimes so the compassion can't uh, uh, stay you know not really stable uh, for instance when you see a, a <clears throat> terrible uh, car accident or something, then uh, you immediately you will have some kind of uh, uh, love uh, with uh, 
responsibility, kind of, uh, you know, I say, oh, poor thing, what's happened? Well, how come like that? What can I do? Oh, like that, right? So that's, oh, that's uh, uh, the accident is horrible and the, the people died and the, something like that, right? So then also you might think, oh, uh, I shouldn't do that in the future. That is very dangerous. Uh, something like that's kind of uh, uh, thought you will have. However, then slowly, time to time, that's all kind of uh, go away. Uh, then uh, <clears throat> later time, you will remember that. Then after few years, after many years, then that's all like, uh, you know, like a history you can't remember. Then you will still kind of uh, uh, doing that kind of a dangerous thing or uh, like a risky thing. So before you think, ah, oh, we shouldn't do that. So I shouldn't do that. So that's so dangerous, like uh, too risky and uh, so on. So, but the later on, that's all gone. It's like, that's, I'm just making an example. So that's, I don't think that's just a good example. But anyway, when you uh, practice uh, emptiness or see the emptiness also same like that, you almost during the meditation, you saw something, you understand something, but uh, then later on, just go away. After your breakfast or after your work or something, that's all gone. Then you might say, oh, uh, yesterday when I meditate, I had a very special feeling. Then I never reached that uh, kind of uh, <clears throat> level again. So, uh, and repeatedly, that's a practice repeatedly. That means like uh, when you have that, so you have to remain. You always practice, always practice, and then getting used to it, right? So that's why uh, the <clears throat> Avalokita Shuvara, they gave that advice. Now, uh, now is very important thing how he's saying. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. So that's a four, that's one sentence, like a four lines. That's almost cover this whole Heart Sutra. So form is emptiness. When we talk about that emptiness, uh, uh, <clears throat> I don't know in the English, you might know, you might know better, but uh, you know, in the uh, Tibetan or in different languages, if you say emptiness, you always have a little bit of confusion. Emptiness and the empty is a little bit different. Empty, if a, if a house, nobody's, nobody lives there, so that's called empty house, right? Empty, nothing. Emptiness is different. Emptiness is somebody's there. Uh, emptiness, that's a form is emptiness. So form is emptiness. Uh, I always making that example, but uh, you know, I don't know, that's uh, for me, uh, that makes sense. Uh, and then <clears throat> like a car, okay, we all are using car. Uh, so you have uh, your different uh, uh, names and different brand and the everything, you know, the car you have. Um, your car, for instance, having a problem, okay? So too old or having uh, some kind of uh, mechanic, uh, uh, you know, damage or something, then you go to a, a body shop, try to fix your car. Uh, the person said, oh, uh, <clears throat> that's really uh, pretty, you know, heavy damage you have to take time to fix it. So maybe uh, one week, after one week, you come and uh, take a look. Maybe I can fix it or cannot. Maybe after that, if I uh, can't, then you can't drive. Maybe you have to leave, then I will continue to work. So after one week, you uh, go there and visit your car. In that uh, workshop, there's no car. 
The car is not there. Then you might ask, where's my car? You took somewhere? The person said, no, your car is here. Where? Oh, yeah, I just, uh, you know, kind of uh, 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 like uh, disassembled because your car is very damaged. So, oh, yeah, true. Then I saw, you know, the four uh, tiles there and the, uh, the shelves there and the, the steering wheels and the, all the, the, you know, the engines somewhere else. Uh, but uh, everything's there. But, uh, you know, my car's gone. Then in your mind at this case, where's your car? The car's gone. After, after 10 days, when you go there, oh, car's back. He reassembled, right? So that's, that's kind of thing. The form, the form is emptiness. But you can't say nothing. You do have thing. So where, which part is really your car? This whole thing. Then the whole thing, if you, uh, you know, if you <clears throat> find a, a bad kind of uh, uh, mechanic, they can't fix it. They just piled up everything there. Then is this called car? That's what we can't call car because your car uh, not uh, orderly uh, reassembled. That doesn't work. So that's what we don't call car. car. But your car, you have to put the, everything together and the work. So that's what we call car. In this case, when really we check this car, so this car have to have those all components orderly put there and one by one because this one and that one works. Because of this gas, this car can run. Because of this electricity, this car, you know, the all computers are running or whatever, something like that. So when you analyze this detail, that's actually is cause and effect. All the causes uh, works, then the result, the effect all coming. So, so the whole thing together we call car. So the form exactly like that. So when you have uh, this form, we just uh, see this appearance, you know, like uh, this whole thing. Oh, there's a car. When you really analyze, Oh, this car is different. You have uh, this car, Ford, but you put the engine, not the Ford, something else, maybe Xiaomi or something. So that's uh, actually still working, right? So that's uh, inside is different. Like uh, we have a uh, uh, problem with our heart or something. Then you do a uh, surgery, go to a hospital. They, oh, that part is broken. You have to put something else. They maybe put the, something from dog, maybe from cow or something, you know. It's still working, right? That's not your, uh, originally your, uh, from you. So that's not yours. That's somebody else's, but still working. So that means like the cause and effect all together working, that's called form. So here said that this form is emptiness. So the form, when you check this form, you couldn't find the real one. So for instance, another example, like a fruits, right? When you have a fruit, especially some kind of fruits like, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, peach or something. So when you eat the peach, you definitely have a court inside, you know that. So when you eat and then, oh, okay, there's someone coming out, right? So like, uh, uh, that's an example, like a human being, I, I'll always say I, okay, I, I have a name, I, I, you know, my nationality and so forth. Like that's uh, that's a fruit. Where's my that's uh, you know the inside the court? I couldn't find because I'm just like a car. You know, all the engine together. I'm working. If I someday I die and everything's gone, so you can't do something like a stand up. Then I lie down. Then they cremate. Maybe they do a fire puja. Then gone and try to, you know, cremate and everything, then everything's gone. So you couldn't find the really I'm person coming up. So in this case, they call emptiness. 
So form is emptiness. Then emptiness also as a form. So emptiness, we say emptiness, emptiness. Then the form is emptiness. And then the form's gone. Then the car is, oh, car is emptiness. No, car is, form is emptiness. Emptiness is car. So the car is the emptiness, like, you know, the cause and effect made that's everything there. So uh, when you <clears throat> find this way, then when you find that that's emptiness is not other than form. If you say, oh, emptiness is something very uh, like uh, uh, really uh, like, uh, <clears throat> uh, special and uh, um, really honorary, something like that. So uh, that's form is like uh, to uh, nothing. No, that's it. Emptiness is not other than form, it's same. So the emptiness, then again, we say I, right? <clears throat> we will uh, discuss this later too. I, selfless. So myself, I'm here. I can't say I'm not here. So when you try to find the really I, you know, I, central I, where I located, I could find in my heart, in my lung or where I couldn't find. Again, then I said, if I have a heart problem, they can change it. They change, still I'm alive. So that means like, you know, that's really I, not located in a specific some place. That whole thing is I. So if I say, oh, I'm I less, when I meditate, then I understand like emptiness, nothing there. So you can't say that. Because you have uh, uh, this body, you have uh, this uh, mind, the brain is working, you have uh, this uh, ability, then you can practice, you can generate compassion. Without you, nobody can generate compassion. In this case, you're there. So like the car, if you see emptiness, car's gone, no, the car's there. Because the car have to work, they have to run, you have to drive this car. So, but the, when you really find this where's car, that's all together is a car. So body also same thing, you know, our, our <clears throat> you know, self also selfless, just like that. So uh, <clears throat> that's uh, for thing um, here said form is empty, uh, form is emptiness, emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. So more uh, profound meaning uh, we have, but the will stop now. Uh, <clears throat> then the uh, next uh, line, okay. Likewise, sensation, discrimination, conditioning, and the awareness are empty. So uh, <clears throat> the five aggregates here. So <clears throat> the form I already mentioned. Why they call five uh, aggregates? That's all. not just one thing, individual, one thing they hold together. Uh, <clears throat> together they form the, everything. Form like a form also have a five senses, like the eyes and the ears and the everything. That's all the functioning different way. So eye, you can see, uh, you can't hear. Ear, you can hear, but you can't uh, smell, for instance, like that. So, so that's why the form also inside have a different uh, ability. So that's why they call the five aggregates, form aggregates, right? So sensation, sensation, also like a feeling. So that's uh, all uh, almost the five aggregates of some have close relationship. Uh, <clears throat> sensation is a feeling, sometimes feeling better and feeling uh, <clears throat> good or bad. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, in Tibetan called Chorwa. So Chorwa Dewa, Chorwa Dungal, like uh, the uh, happiness, feeling of happiness, feeling of suffering. That's very different, right? So, but still as a feeling. Uh, then the uh, <clears throat> um, 
discrimination, discrimination like uh, analyzing details, like uh, oh, then when you learn that's oh, okay, this is Toyota car. Oh, this is different than this a Ford car. Oh, this is a Ford car. Like that's you know that's uh, like a detail you analyze to understand. Then the conditioning. Conditioning also called uh, mental formation, like uh, your mind uh, more detailed, like, oh, this is this, that is that, you're making something up, right? So all of them uh, from the awareness, so the consciousness. So the consciousness, uh, for instance, the eye have eye consciousness, ear have ear con consciousness, and uh, that's... Uh, that's just working, right? So uh, talking about uh, that's uh, uh, ear. So when I uh, saw a little, uh, some kind of uh, clap on the Facebook, that's very interesting. So uh, <clears throat> some doctor, they made it that's as uh, uh, visible. You can see, you know, otherwise the doctors can see, but we can't understand, right? So the ear, you can hear that's a sound. The sound come to your ear, you can hear. So they said the inside the ear has a, that's a, uh, the when you play the piano, you have a, that's a, what you call the uh, like a, like a keyboard like a, the keys, yeah, the keys, right? The keys, yeah, the keys like a very long one, right? So they just the had this kind of a key thing they rolled rolled up and then in the air so that's all moving so when you have a, that's a sound that's all they have a different function they they hear sometimes people you know you can see some sound but you can't hear different sounds right so that's a, what's happened that's a, some of the keys are broken so when they are working they they catch you know sometimes like a very deep sound they can hear sometimes very noisy like sharp sound they also can that's all different uh, functioning uh you know sometimes we have uh, this kind of feeling right so when you hear uh, uh music okay singing a song or something oh beautiful but they still have a background there like a drama or something they doing something but you can't hear so sometimes some people they hear that's a uh, uh, very deep sound, but they can't hear the sharp, high sound, something like that. So that's, a, they, they all have uh, inside has very complication there. So anyway, that's a, that's is a kind of uh, uh, thing. Uh, <clears throat> that's uh, how they works, the consciousness. I'm talking about the, the consciousness, awareness, the ear, that's all like a mechanic, right? So outside of those uh, uh, things there. But uh, inside, that's like a computer thing. That is the consciousness. That's, if that uh, <clears throat> uh, doesn't work, then you can't hear. You can't hear nothing, right? So uh, <clears throat> those five aggregates also, as uh, <clears throat> mentioned before, form is emptiness. So that's a sensation is from emptiness. Emptiness is sensation. You can do that way. That's five aggregates are same. So and again, that's all, not nothing, but that's a cause and effect. All have a cause and effect. So for instance, I, uh, because you have an eye, your eye is working, your eyeballs are good and everything. You can see the object then you will, oh, you will notice that it's red or blue or, oh, the sky or the raining or something. Then that's uh, your eye uh, consciousness is functioning. So um, <clears throat> same thing. So that's all like cause and effect. If you don't have a, that's a object, you can't see. If you don't have a, that's a consciousness, that's a still can't see. For instance, the kids like that, right? So you send the kids to a, a, a house to find something. They always say, no, I couldn't find. They might call you, oh, I couldn't find. Where's that? Um, like that. So that means like uh, the kids didn't pay attention. You know, they, they're 
consciousness not to working together. So when asking him to him or her to get the ice cream, they will get this right away because they are functioning. They always thinking about that to say, oh, I know where that they can find it right away. If something else they couldn't find it because that's, uh, you know, they all not getting used to it. So their consciousness not really uh, working together. So those are <clears throat> five aggregates. Then uh, <clears throat> That's in the uh, five paths we mentioned before. So that's all in the practice, uh, the uh, uh, paths of uh, uh, accumulation and the paths of preparation. So now move to a higher level. Uh, in this, uh, way, Shariputta, all things are emptiness. They are without the, uh, <clears throat> defining characteristics. They are not uh, born. They do not uh, uh, <clears throat> cease. They are not uh, <clears throat> defiled. They are not uh, undefiled. They have no uh, increase. They have no decrease. So that's in the path of seeing. So when you analyze, then you really see the emptiness. So in the <clears throat> in the emptiness, you will see that uh, that's just a kind of uh, eight angles to analyze something from your different eight angles to analyze everything. So everything just like that. So that's a little bit uh, <clears throat> complicated, complicated, but uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> that's also called uh, three, uh, three types of uh, <clears throat> Sensation for liberation. That's also called like a three types of sensation of uh, liberation, uh, sensation for liberation, or they call the three doors of uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, emancipation. Uh, so that's uh, then. <clears throat> That's a little bit complicated, but uh, you know, I try to explain this way. For instance, everything, everything has three doors. Everything has three doors. The first door is uh, <clears throat> emancipation uh, through emptiness. This is one door. The second door is emancipation of uh, uh, signlessness, no sign signal. Uh, <clears throat> the third one is uh, emancipation of uh, wishlessness. So, what I mean, for instance, let's say a seed. When you put the seed, the seed will grow. So, that's a seed has those three doors. So, the seed itself is emptiness. I mentioned before, like a form, right? The seed as a form. So the seed has, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, like the uh, cause and effect, uh, except that it's cause and effect, that's a seed, nothing there. So that's why the cause, the seed itself is made by, kind of, uh, builded by emptiness. Then the uh, second door is, uh, signlessness signlessness means so uh <clears throat> when when you have a seed then that the seed will slowly grow so that's a little white shoots coming up coming out then uh, slowly that's green shoots uh, growing up and then that is slowly changing right that's all like a sign that's a sign uh, <clears throat> also a 
have to have a certain condition, right? Like weather and soil and water and so forth, right? So that's also a cause and effect, except cause and effect that they just dry and die maybe. So um, so you have to have those kind of things. Then the third one is we call uh, <clears throat> uh, emancipation through the wishlessness. So we kind of having a wish or uh, aspirational for that seed. Then we say, oh, okay, that seed will, uh, will have a later have a fruit. So that's just the wish. We don't know fruit. We do have a fruit or not. So then later on, because of the all condition and the time and the everything, weather and the, you know, the temperature and everything. So the fruit perfectly uh, <clears throat> have it. So even that one is uh, emptiness, cause and effect. So in this way, when you uh, use that knowledge, like uh, the seed change to a uh, uh, fruit, uh, then uh, <clears throat> metal you have uh, that's uh, progressive, like uh, growing and uh, its leaves and uh, the flowers and so forth, all of them. Those are three doors you have to go through. So uh, that's uh, everything when you check, just like that way. You know, the people also have uh, that, you know, the human being or the all material and everything. So for instance, so we using a material, we also like that's right. So, okay, that's just uh, all the pen. Let's say that's just uh, all the pen, even say that's just antique. So that means like, uh, you know, hundred years ago. So when, what time they became uh, old? Year by year, day by day, they just changed. So that's why the everything is cause and effect. So that's why they have this kind of result. So in this case, they said that uh, uh, all emptiness in that's uh, eight angles to C. Now, our time. Okay, so let me uh, explain a little bit and then I will stop uh, today. Then you have uh, questions maybe. Then, <clears throat> uh, therefore, Shariputta is, uh, Shariputta, in <clears throat> emptiness, there is no form, uh, no sensation, no uh, <clears throat> discrimination, no conditioning, uh, and uh, no awareness. Then I will continue read all of them, okay? Uh, there is no eye, no ear, no nose, no town, no body, no mind. Uh, there is no form, no sound, no smell, no uh, taste, no uh, texture, no phenomena. And there is no eye elements and so on to no mind elements and so uh also up to no elements of uh, mental awareness. Uh, so in the Heart Sutra, sometimes they didn't mention those topic. They just mentioned that's a real thing. Uh, that's a five, that's a six, uh, <clears throat> no, uh, you know, no eyes and no nose. Those are, they call uh, six internal senses. So the six internal senses, no, no, that means like uh, uh, empty uh, of inherent nature. We just added this inherent nature before we said, you know, that's a very important keyword you have to remember. So you add this one, then that makes sense. So what I mean that why they say no, no, actually there exist, but why we say no? Because when you analyze this I, what is I? During the meditation, meditative uh, equipoid, then you will see that uh, nothing exists there beside the cause and effect. So then you see. Then afterwards, after between the uh, meditation uh, sessions, that's all gone. Because that's, uh, we're not the Bodhisattva, we're, our meditation is not stabilized uh, yet. So that's why you have this kind of condition. When you analyze, you almost kind of, uh, you realize something, but later on, then all gone. So because that's, uh, 
we have to continue continuously this at the practice repeatedly, uh, then you will understand. So that's the five uh, internal senses. Then the uh, uh, no form, no sound, those are five, uh, six, I mean, six, six intern, uh, external senses. So external senses and the internal senses are I, you can see the form, right? So that is the object. So that's uh, also, that's the six uh, uh, external senses around emptiness. Then the I elements, I elements also a uh, uh, <coughs> same thing. Then the uh, <coughs> Here said the uh, Marikpa me, uh, there is no ignorance and no uh, <clears throat> elimination of uh, ignorance and so on up to no uh, aging and death. So that uh, uh, is the uh, <clears throat> 12 links of dependent origination. But in the Heart Sutra, they never mentioned those things, but uh, that's. Uh, <clears throat> the detail they have. But because they have to, they didn't mention the one by one. You know, when I read that uh, uh, Paramita Sutra, they just uh, detail, they, everything they mentioned. But the, in the Heart Sutra, they just like a shortcut. So they mentioned the, uh, <clears throat> there is no ignorance uh, up to uh, no aging and that's right. The 12 links, they just didn't mention everything. So actually here, uh, something a little bit complicated, but I try to explain it. I don't know if that works or not. Uh, 12 link, so 12 things, right? So sometime, not this year, maybe next year, I will show you a slideshow. I made a 12 links, that's a slideshow. So 12 link, the 12 link of dependent origination from Sutra, and I add some kind of uh, modern life in that. So also have uh, that suggestion, you know, the baby was born in which station or so on. So that's all combined together. I made a slideshow, but uh, maybe next year we will discuss that when we have uh, that <laughs> you know, opportunity. So the 12 link I hear, I said, you know, uh, actually, Half link of dependent origination when you practice, you have a, a one set half link of dependent origination, like a clockwise, from the ignorance, uh, then to a, a karmic formation, then to uh, you know, consciousness, then to name and form, uh, six uh, perfections, and so forth, like that, so half links. That's clockwise. When you practice, you you should practice the counterclockwise as well. So, for instance, the end is the uh, <coughs> aging and death, right? Aging and death. That's just the end. That's twelve link of dependent origination. Actually, they describe the uh, you know the living beings, all sentient beings, like whole lifespan. So. When you ask you know, what is what's one person's lifespan, we might say, oh, birth and death. So actually, birth and death is the two of the sections. We still have a few, ten more on that. So all together, the very beginning, they start the ignorance. For instance, what is the ignorance? Let's say I'm doing something here. Okay, I'm doing something a little bit crazy like that. So that's actually is the ignorance. I create something. Then that's, because of that, that's already have, that's records, which is the karmic formation. They already have it. Or I did something good, maybe by accidentally or by uh, purposely. I did something good. Oh, okay. Too hot. I just uh, uh, turn on the air condition, for instance. Oh, okay. That's... Uh, it's just like I did something good, right? For instance, okay. That's a half of that's a karmic uh, <clears throat> formation. Then the later, that will bring me uh, happiness. If I did something bad, then later, well, that's a karma, uh, bring me something suffer. Uh, then when you check, oh, maybe long time ago, you did something bad. So that's why you have uh, this headache, 
for instance, like that, right? So that's all twelve links. Then the twelve links back, going backwards. So from the deaths, why you have a death? We have to analyze this. Why I have a death? Oh, because we have an aging. That's why I have a death. Oh, why we have an aging? Well, because you have a birth. So so and so then until the uh, ignorance. So when you practice, you should go uh, uh, forward and backwards, counterclockwise and clockwise. Okay. So same thing. That's also have a two sides, so it's two set. One is the traveling self dependent on origination in lifespan, our our lifetime. So that's all with suffering. When you have uh, that's the ignorance and uh, you know the karmic and the so forth and told the birth and that's all with suffering. So when you practice, when you liberate it in the nirvana, so all of them like uh, purified. So when you have uh, purified those twelve links, so that's also have a cause and effect. Also uh, <clears throat> clockwise and counterclockwise. So then here. Uh, they mentioned all of them, but they just made them shorten. You know, they said that there is no ignorance, so that is the uh, clockwise, right? Uh, so elimination of uh, ignorance, which which is the counterclockwise. They said that the other way around. So and uh, uh, so on up to no. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, aging and the death. No, that's no means like uh, the counterclockwise. Actually, it's the aging and death, thing, right? So when you really find out that there's no aging and death. So those are four, 48 things, 12 times 4, 48, you know, uh, forward and backward in the uh, samsara level or in the nirvana level, all of them as uh, uh, empty deaths. Okay, now next slide. Likewise, there is no suffering, origin, uh, sensation, uh, <clears throat> oh, cessation, and or pass. So that's four noble truths, but they didn't mention four noble truths, but the suffering and the causes of suffering and cessation and the pass. And there is no wis wisdom, uh, <clears throat> um, uh, no attainment and uh, uh, even no uh, non attainment. So uh, <clears throat> that's uh, that's why you uh, <clears throat> have uh, that's a four noble truths. Like uh, before, you have uh, that suffering. Suffering, what we should do? Suffering, we should uh, understand what is suffering. We have to learn. So then, suffering. Oh, where does come from? Oh, because I did something bad, then half of that's suffering. That's causes of suffering. So that's we should stop. Causes of suffering, we should bend it. Then uh, <coughs> cessation of suffering, no suffering. That case is a happiness, right? So that's we should remain or keep. Then the past. Past is the, uh, <coughs> uh, you know, the way to get to that, uh, get rid of the suffering, way to uh, find this happiness, right? So that's what we should practice. So the Four Noble Truths, when you practice, then they will have a wisdom. So even this wisdom, no wisdom means like uh, no uh, <clears throat> emptiness. That means like uh, emptiness of uh, inherent nature of wisdom. So the wisdom self is a cause and effect. Otherwise, there's no with them automatically coming. So that's uh, attainment. So when you get the uh, enlightenment or uh, no enlightenment, all of them uh, as uh, cause and effect. Now we'll stop here. I don't know. That's a little bit uh, makes sense to you or not. Uh, you know, for me, <laughs> very hard, <laughs> you know. So anyway, shall we? Okay. Stop here, and uh, uh, if you have uh, questions, maybe I ask a few questions. How about that? Yeah, um, Lamala, I put you on mute because you were moving around a bit, so you gotta poke yourself and unmute yourself again. 
Okay. Oh. You mean my stuff? No, no. I, I put Lama Jimpa on mute because oh. he was oh, okay, okay, okay. moving. So yeah. we had some issues with that earlier. Um, maybe does anyone have questions if, if Lama can't figure out the mute again? <laughs> Uh, if someone has a question, maybe they can unmute and uh, ask a question then. Okay. No? I don't see any questions yet. Uh, I, I have a question. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the 12 links. Yes. They are moving on a wheel back and forth. Is that, uh, that's the impression I got from what you were saying. The 12, the 12 links, are they moving back and forth? You were talking about forward and backwards with the 12 links. Did yeah. I misunderstand you or? Oh, uh, okay. Let me, let me try to explain this one again. Um, so uh, maybe I said that's not clear. So moving back and forward means like uh, when you practice, when you analyze, you have to go to a uh, uh, clockwise, okay? So why I have uh, this uh, uh, problem, then I will say, oh, because I have uh, this ignorance, I did something wrong. So I have uh, this uh, uh, karmic uh, uh, formation, karma. Because of this karma, then I have uh, uh, consciousness. Uh, the consciousness have a name and form then, later on born and uh, aging and death and everything happened, right? So we think this way. So uh, <clears throat> then the counterclockwise, so we should think, okay, why I'm dying? Why I'm dying? Then uh, why I should stay <laughs> forever why i'm dying oh i'm permanent uh, then i'm aging so that's why i'm dying oh aging why i'm aging uh, because i'm uh, you know uh <clears throat> born i was born so that's why i'm aging uh then until to the ignorance so the idea is try to find this ignorance ignorance is the uh the opposite of wisdom so we need the wisdom. So once we have a ignorance, we don't have a wisdom. When we have to have a wisdom, we have to get rid of the ignorance. So when you get to it, try to get rid of the new, uh, you know ignorance, then you have to analyze going backwards and the forwards to analyze. Then totally understand. Then you can get rid of. It. So that's that is the uh, idea, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, and it was about the the three doors. Yeah. And and is that specifically three doors just for emancipation? You gave the example of a seed, but yeah. um, you, that just for emancipation, each thing whatever is going to be emancipated would be through emptiness and then signlessness and then witchlessness. Right. And like it's in that order and it's only things that are, that are going to be liberated. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, when you, uh, when you go to uh, liberate, you have to uh, find those, uh, uh, you know, details. Then when we analyze, then everything, I just made the example for the seed, but the, everything, car or human being, or everything has those three levels. The human being also have uh, those levels. The first thing, you know, the, the body. The body is a form, like the form is emptiness we mentioned before. So then the body also changing from the childhood to the, you know, the uh, <clears throat> matured person or elder or whatever, that's all have a uh, sign, signals. 
signlessness. That is the kind of uh, uh, <coughs> liberation from that swan. Then the uh, then also we have a wish, right? We are in the future we might become like that. So we might that's one coming, and uh, also we understand that. Then we will uh, so the the <coughs> uh, we can uh, practice the wishlessness like uh, emptiness. So the goal is that goal is that uh, to understand that that's a true uh, <clears throat> the whole thing. If uh, we we say ourself, our self is selflessness. Selflessness. How to understand the selflessness? Then you have to make those three levels, like uh, the three levels. And uh, through the three levels, the emancipation, then you will can liberate it. Otherwise, that's uh, each level kind of tight there. Uh, so that's why you can't liberate it. Okay, so you're saying that that's a, a method, a, th a way that we can evaluate. Yes. Yeah. This is through these three doors that you talk about. Right, right. Okay, right. great. Okay. Thank you very much. Hi, you're welcome. Rinpoche, I have a question and, and thank you so much for this talk. <laughs> really, really helpful. Um, thank you. Welcome. Uh, with the three doors of uh, with signlessness, yeah. uh, I'm struggling a little bit. You gave the example of the growth of a seed and the conditions. So um can you talk a little bit more about how i would practice how we would practice with that methodology in the emancipation <clears throat> cause and effect or that's also um i i think that's uh uh, actually, uh, we before mentioned those uh, eight things, right? Eight things like uh, emptiness. Uh, <clears throat> this is the way, uh, in this way, Shariputta, all things are emptiness. Uh, they are without uh, uh, defining characteristics. Uh, second. Uh, there are no, uh, not born, that's not the uh, uh, seas, uh, they're not uh, <clears throat> defiled. Um, so, so five of them, I guess. I'm a little bit confused, but anyway, so those are kind of belongs uh, to that's the first door. The second one uh, actually. I guess it started as having no uh, increase and decrease there. So increase and decrease means uh, like, uh, uh, <clears throat> so that is the sign, actually signlessness. So signlessness, that's, uh, uh, we, we always, something like uh, getting better or getting worse. Of course, in our st stage, we have to practice that anyway. But otherwise, you know, oh, now I practice and get more and more like that. In the Bodhisattvas, that's a level. Because of that emptiness, you understand that's emptiness. So you are uh, increased uh, from the first level to uh, uh, the tenth, you know, the path you can get there. But that's a still kind of uh, you know mental process, but not really a, a decrease or increase. So that's a, there's no sign, I guess. So that's why maybe uh, uh, I'm I'm not sure how to explain this one. But uh, you know, kind of uh, that's all cause and effect. That's a cause and effect. You can't uh, uh, stack on it like. Uh, you you can't say okay i'm wishing something better so if you think this way then your uh you know kind of a practice not a really prove yet or something so does this makes a little bit of sense that makes a tremendous amount of sense absolutely so i'm <laughs> trying to be 
in the moment, not trying to expect something different to come in the future. I think so. I think something like that. So yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Rinpoche. Yes. Omahung. Um, what keeps coming to mind for me, and maybe you can talk um, about this in terms of of the Heart Sutra, is yeah. the fluidity of life, um, arising and dissolving of phenomena, uh -huh. um, and how we might look at that to kind of explain um, emptiness is the phenomena once it's already once it's arise arisen because of cause and effect um is that emptiness as well uh yes emptiness um emptiness is the uh we also call the truthness and the also uh uh like a true uh <coughs> truths, conventional truths and the uh, ultimate truths. So the ultimate truth is the uh, emptiness. Nothing exists there but the cause and effect. The cause and effect as uh, uh, as uh, uh, <clears throat> you know conventional truths. that's a also that's a truly exists there, both of them. It's not the one is real, one is not real, something like that. So, okay, for instance. So when you when we practice, what's the matter? The the matter is, I, I think you know when when we practice, when we practice in our mind, uh, <clears throat> once you have a, that's a, a ignorance, some sort of the wisdom, the opposite of wisdom is the ignorance. Once you have a wisdom, uh, ignorance, then that's bother your practice. That's as an obstacle for your practice. When you practice, so in our mind, the traveling uh, of dependent origination also have this thing. You know, they have a elimination like uh, uh, element. Uh, you know, uh, illustrated too. So that's a picture like a mind inside our mind. Our mind is controlled by those three animals. So three man animals, just say example, like uh, pigs and the uh, uh, pigs and the snake and the uh, rooster. So that's uh, attachment, anger, and uh, ignorance. So three of them, they uh, you know, like uh, controlled my mind. So once you don't have uh, that kind of selflessness, then you will control the one of them. So when you control one of them, you always think, okay, so this is mine. I did something good or whatever. So, or you have a little bit upset. Oh, that's a person I'm doing something good, but that person always uh, criticizes me or whatever, something like that. So uh, in this way, our mind, because of that uh, ignorance, so, uh, <clears throat> I can't uh, really uh, uh, practice more. We can't, uh, you know, develop the wisdom. Uh, why? Because of that uh, uh, ignorance bothers. So when you get rid, try to get rid of the ignorance, you can't say, okay, I don't have a ignorance to start today. Okay, I'm just a practice or something that you can't do. So you have to uh, use this all uh, idea uh, that's the three doors I just mentioned, you know, that's also something like that. So uh, we're, we're thinking something increased, there's nothing increased. Something decreased, no, nothing decreased. Something like uh, contaminated, no. Something like uh, pure, no. So that's the original one is a cause and effect. So once you have uh, that kind of a different thought, you might uh, make this uh, uh, mind as more contaminated or something. So that's why you have to try to use different angle to purify them. So I guess that is the idea. <laughs> so I don't know, that's a clear or not. So I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Lama, do you have your sound working yet? Yeah. No? How's okay. that? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rinpoche, thank you so much for making the lion's roar on the last day of Sagada. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Really, so yeah, students, you're the, yeah, you're welcome. That's a really I, wonderful. We have uh, that uh, <clears throat> opportunity to uh, use that uh, social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having a social distance, but we still have uh, that's a social media. <laughs> that's right. So that's good. So I know I speak for uh, all of us that it, it's the experience of being on Vulture Peak right now with you, Rinpoche. So uh, that's a great, that's many great. blessings. <laughs> yeah. We'll you look forward there. to your next teaching. Uh, thank you. You've been there, right? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> that's a really special, yeah. Really special place. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Omahun. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.